Holy cow, you guys. It has been such a long time since I've been on camera. And this has taken me a really long time to come on camera and to talk to you guys about what's been going on. And I know my last few videos that I uploaded about six months ago, I did explain some things, but I didn't fully understand what was going on until six months later. I have never gone gotten on the internet and have talked about Jesus. Guys, I definitely think something is happening in this world um, to where Jesus is opening up a lot of people's eyes to see the truth. I, you know, I don't know if we're in the end times and I don't know if um, he's coming back soon, but something happened to me to where my whole, my whole entire life has been flipped upside down for the better. And I'm only getting emotional because it is a miracle what has happened to me. And um, I know Christianity is not everybody's cup of tea and a lot of people have their, their doubts and their opinions on religion, but I'm only sharing my experience with you guys and I'm hoping that it can touch at least just one person. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background before um, I start this, this story. If you guys aren't aware, if you're new to this video or to this channel. So for years I was doing the industry of Instagram and YouTube and um, not all of it was bad. I mean there were some like car related videos that I thoroughly loved doing and I still hopefully one day will continue to do that. But the majority of it was based on me being the Instagram model and being sexy and being um, enticing and you know, lots of men lusted after me. I don't know about women, but I probably persuaded a lot of women to do what I do because I thought it was empowering. So yeah, I did that for a really, really long time. And there was always a, there was always something in the back of my mind that was saying, this can't be, this can't be it. This can't be the way. For the rest of my life, this cannot be it. Mind you, probably two years ago, I started an OnlyFans and um, I started my own website and I did not do nudes on it. I never once have done nudes, but I still, those are sex sites. So the, the intent was there to make money and I didn't really care if I was posting, you know, the sexiest lingerie photos or, you know, half naked implied nude. Um, it was I was making really really good money too. So I shut that down About six months ago, too. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump into my story. So It's kind of I guess my testimony a little bit mind you. I grew up Catholic. So I've had a history with God one day six months ago I was in my car outside the gym and I just started to pray. Lord, something doesn't feel right. I feel empty inside. I'm making all this money. You know, people are, they want to be me. They love seeing me. They love seeing my pictures. They love seeing my videos. Like, but something doesn't feel right. And I begged begged to God, please show me the way. Show me what I'm supposed to do. Um, <clears throat> and I told him, holy crap, I need to stop crying. I'm so sorry, you guys. I told him, I'm so lost. I am so lost. I don't feel like myself. Um, please just show me what am I supposed to do? And I said, there's got to be a sign. Give me a sign, please. That's, I begged him for like an hour before the gym, just begging him because this is how, this is how lost I felt. 
And um, I prayed for about, you know, two weeks after that. Same thing, just not as intense. And a couple weeks go by and I'm starting to feel convicted about YouTube. I'm starting to feel convicted about posting on Instagram. Um, we go to Mexico and instantly when I'm in Mexico, I made a deal with God. And I know that sounds weird, but I told him, I said, I think you're trying to tell me not to be on OnlyFans and my website anymore, but give me a month so I can um, finish out the month and um, then I'll be done with it. That's what I told him in one of my prayers. And I said, I'll be done, you know, no big deal. Just give me the month. It was like the beginning of the month when we went to Mexico. And I said, if I am wrong and if I need to do it right now, give me a sign, let me know. That was before bed. I woke up the next day to my younger sister, Jamie, calling me back in the United States. And she goes, Bobby, there's a flood again in the stand. There's a flood. And I'm like, what do you mean? We just got done remodeling the stand because there was a huge flood in the stand. I'm like, what? I'm freaking out. I'm like, what do you mean there's a flood? Instantly in my mind, I knew that this was my sign to stop everything because I know that sounds weird. I called everybody. Turns out that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. We were able to clean it up. The flooring we had in there was uh, able to handle the water. I deleted everything and it didn't feel wrong, nothing. Like I felt, I felt amazing. That night, one of my customers sent me a picture of a double rainbow over my stand. And I knew, I knew that was the Lord speaking to me. So shortly after that, I had the fire in me to start reading the Bible. The f like fire, like it was the craziest thing. I just, I wanted the Bible, and mind you, I took the Bible with me to Mexico, read it in Mexico. That's usually not the first thing on my mind when I'm traveling to Mexico. Um, but I was, I was reading the Bible. Um, and then I went to, another thing that happened is I went to coffee with one of my best friends, Morgan. And we walked into this coffee place and I couldn't understand what was happening at the time. I was a little bit confused. And this man comes up to us and he's crazy. Like he actually seemed a little bit crazy. Um, and he was talking to Morgan's daughter. And then all of a sudden he's like, do you know what it means to be born again? And my friend Morgan, she's like, this guy is weird, like we need to leave. And I was so intrigued and I'm like, what does it mean to be born again? I have no idea. And I was so into Jesus, I wanted to know. So he starts explaining it and he's crazy. He He's actually crazy, but he goes on and on about being born again. When I got home, I was like, that's exactly what's happened to me. Like that was a sign. Cause I asked God like, what's going on? That's when everything changed. I took my turning point. I left literally everything. After I found out I was born again, the next day I woke up and I literally, it's, it feels just like a, somebody, like God touched me and he showed me the truth about everything. And I know you guys, that might sound crazy, but the way I was dressing, uh, the cuss words coming out of my mouth, um, the music I was listening to, um, the gossip that I would be into, family drama, posting pictures on Instagram, videos. Like I would literally scroll on Instagram and all the influencers I was following half naked, I was mortified. And you guys, you have to understand this is all I knew for the last six, seven years. That's all I wanted to be. All I wanted to be was like this sex symbol or just like this really beautiful woman who is a model and that's all I ever wanted and one day I'm waking up and I am questioning my whole entire surrounding and I feel like every sin 
that was in my life, I knew about instantly. It was, I was being convicted on every single thing you can think about that is a sin. I was being convicted of it and I, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a choice I made. You know, I wasn't one day waking up and being like, oh, I should probably start to dress a little bit more modest. No, it was like, if I had a shirt that was showing my stomach, I felt embarrassed. Like it was, it, <clears throat> I wish that everybody could feel that way. And I wish that I could just put it onto everybody so they could feel this way. Um, I have never felt so knowing and so, so whole in my whole entire life. I know like right from wrong instantly, I feel like the world tries to control us and it's so easy to fall into what the world is doing. In the Bible, it even talks about falling into worldly ways. One verse in the Bible says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Or, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love the Father. Love for the Father is not in them. And when I read these Bible verses, I know what it means. A lot of people are just so in love with, with what the world has to offer, but we're not in love with the creator and the creator made all these things for us so that's where i'm at now six months later i finally figured out you know i wanted to wait a long time to come out and to talk to you guys about what's been going on but i wanted to make sure it was something in my heart that was sunken in there forever so it wasn't like a phase i was going through or it wasn't something that I just had to make sure I had all my thoughts together and I knew exactly what was going on. I think God is truly calling out his children that follow him. And I think it's all of our duty who feel this calling to tell the world about it. And I've seen so many testimonies, so many famous people coming out about God. And maybe it's because our world is becoming so evil. It's not even like a choice, you guys. It's like I instantly feel convicted about things like... It's like the Holy Spirit is just telling me like, that's not for you. So Devin grew up Christian too. His family was super religious. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking like, what does Devin think? We, if you're new to the channel, my boyfriend Devin and I have been together for eight years. And um, so he's well aware of God. And I put Jesus to the side for those eight years. And Devin didn't know me as being religious at all. and. I did talk to Devin about it, and I'm so lucky because he's the most understanding per people person <laughs> I ever kn have known. Um, I can talk to him about everything, and he doesn't, I mean, maybe he thinks I'm a little crazy, but he really, truly listens to me when I have something serious to talk about. So we've talked about it all, and him and I are going to church. We're still trying to find a church that we like. Um, I still like Catholic churches, I really do, but to him, he's not Catholic, so it's really kind of weird for him. So we're trying to find a church that we both like, and yeah, I love you guys, and I felt like you guys deserved an explanation on where I've been and why I haven't been around. My life, my life before has literally just been flipped. No, my life before has been thrown in the garbage and lit on fire, and I'm over here now. My whole life, you guys, is completely different, and I know for some people that's hard to believe, and for some people you're probably doubting, and um, ask God yourself. Like, that's all I can say is if somebody would have told me this six months ago, seven months ago before I was praying and like asking God for help, I'd be like, you're crazy. Like, I know, I know God, but you know, he, he's, he's distant. He, he's not like working in our lives. Ask him, beg of him to show you, um, invite him into your life. Like I wish, like I said, I wish everybody could feel this way that I feel. I only pray that you can talk to him, pray to him, even if you have never before. Yeah. It's just been a crazy experience this whole thing and it, it's like the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Yeah, this world is extremely crazy right now and there's 
so many new age, there's so much, I kind of even dabbled in new age, like, um, spirituality and, like, crystals and just remember the enemy will deceive you, he will lie to you, he'll make you feel good. The devil is disguised as an angel, so just know that there's a better way and a brighter way in a way that makes you feel whole and true, not like you're defending yourself all the time. You don't have anger, like you know the truth and um, just know that there are, there is a better way and don't be deceived by the, by the enemy because it is extremely, extremely easy to be deceived. Um, I have been, I know a lot of people who are right now, it may feel fine, um, but deep down you know there, there's a better way. I really hope that this inspires some of you guys. I think a year ago, if one of my favorite um, Instagram or YouTubers would have came out there on their channel and said this, I would have just been like, oh, they're turning into a weirdo. Truly. But um, this is the reality of it, and um, I hope that it inspired some of you guys. And if you have any questions, I could talk forever about this. So if you want to know more, I can I can do a QA, and a I can come on Instagram and talk about it. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye